UIW football, we are here with coach Matt Bass, Robbie Horton. Gentlemen, tell me what happened there at the end. Robert. Uh, it was it was a tight game the, the whole the whole game and and you, we knew it was gonna be tough coming into the game. And we knew it was gonna be you know, hopefully we could try to take it into overtime in the last final seconds and things didn't go our way. Um, it, it happens. We just the team needs to move forward from now. Okay. Bass, I mean, it's easy to focus on what went wrong, but what did you? What do you guys think you did right? You know, I think defensively we played a really good game. Uh, you know, we, we we basically shut them out on defense. You know, I had one long play. Uh, offensively, you know, uh, you know, we we played better. Um, you know, we mixed up some some uh, some blocking schemes and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, it's a young team, and you know, this this is coming next year. They're going to be you know ten times better than they were this year. So, you know, I think defense played a really good game, you know, and, uh, you know, offense, you know, they played a good game too, but, you know, obviously not good enough to win a game, so. Coach, what do you want to tell your players because of this game or this season? Well, you know, what I told them in the locker room is, you know, it would have been a lot better feeling to be 7-4 and four and undefeated at home, but we're not. We're 6-5, and five, and so we got to own that. You know, but our stated goal at the start of the year was to win more than we lose, and it you're not going to get me feeling down at all because I love these guys, what they've been through, what they've gone through, and, and we've got a great young bunch of guys, and we're going to be back and, and uh, be a whole lot better. So it, it, it isn't about that the defense played good and the offense didn't because it's, it's about the team didn't play well enough to win. Okay. And, and they, they beat us up. They're a pretty good football team, big, strong guys, and had a really good scheme on offense and defense and, and <clears throat> you know, so we own it. We're six and five. At the start of the year, if we just said we could be six and five, a lot of guys would have said, "Yeah, that's a good thing." So I'm going to be happy with it. Okay. Bass, season's over. What's next for you? Um, you know, obviously Christmas break. Yeah. <laughs> to start off with, but uh, you know, um, coming back and going to you know uh, continue my master's degree and, uh, and help out here with football uh, as a graduate assistant coach, uh, and then you know. You know, try to make it to the next level, you know, wherever that level is. Uh, you know, just keep working and see what's going to happen there. Okay. Is there anything in particular that you thought you could have done to, to help the team a little bit more today? Uh, I put my heart and soul out on that field. Um, I, towards the fourth quarter, I could barely even walk, and it, it was just, just a grind the whole game. And, I mean, I left it all on the field. I could say that for the rest of my life. Anything you guys want to tell Coach now that the season's over? I love you. Yeah. I'm proud to be one of your players on this, on this team. Love you guys. Too. Thank you for the opportunity that, that you've given us. Yeah. How about to tell your teammates? Uh, to, to all the seniors, uh, you know, keep your head up, kids up. You know, we've, we've been together for a long time. And to the younger guys, you know what it takes to, to work hard and be, be at a top performing level and, and keep working. Wayne, we never won more than we lost, have we? No. Until, until this year. Mm -hmm. So good for you. Mm -hmm. What advice do you guys have for the younger guys on the team? Stay hungry. Just keep grinding. This team's going to be a good team. Yeah. We're not going to let them not work. Good season, gentlemen.